Well, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Dr. John McClain, and in this post, I will do a biblical evaluation of social medias. And if you have uh, constructive feedback, you can reach me at drjohnmcclain at gmail.com. As of October 2021, five plus billion people currently use social media worldwide. 91% of the world uh, uses social media. 99% access through a mobile device. About two and a half hours is the average usage uh, per day for a person on social media. When I talk about social media, I'm talking about those world user accounts. Facebook has three plus billion, YouTube 2.5 billion, WhatsApp, 2 billion, Facebook Messenger, 1.3 billion, WeChat, 1.2 billion. Americans text 25 billion messages a day. About 20 million selfies are posted to uh, Google each week. And I, I personally, you know, don't understand uh, what's about all these selfies and why uh, somebody feels compelled, uh, which the usage, uh, like amongst the millennials, is uh, about five to ten uh, times a day. You know, why, why do people think they're uh, so special or whatever that um, everybody wants to see what they're doing and where they're going and what their business is? Uh, this I don't understand. It just, uh, for me as a believer, humility is what we are called to, and self-promotion like that seems to be uh, out of line with the concept of humility. I understand sharing with family, but uh, to constantly be saying, look at me, uh, just uh, seems odd. Maybe because I don't have that much to look at, I don't know. Uh, dozens of Twitter celebrities have more than 50 million followers. This is another one I don't understand. Uh, why are people so interested in what celebrities have to say or what they're doing? I mean, don't you have a life of your own? If not, uh, you know, I've got some answers maybe for you uh, in this presentation. Uh, social media has uh, many benefits, great and wonderful benefits and positive things, uh, but there's also an awful lot of uh, evil and uh, uh, self-promotion uh, on it that is just uh, alien to me as a follower of Jesus Christ. Let me uh, look at a few scriptures with you that might provide us some guidance so that uh, social media is a positive thing uh, in our lives. Uh, Proverbs 10, 19, when words are many, transgression is not lacking, but whoever restrains his lips is prudent. Uh, we need to be careful in all of our communication uh, that we're just not talking and talking and talking and not thinking uh, because many words will result in sin or in transgression. Proverbs 18.2, a fool takes no pleasure in understanding, but only in expressing his opinion. Uh, people who go on to social media just to spout off, um, you know, and, and want to say what their opinion is, and they're not interested in learning, uh, this is very foolish. Uh, Proverbs 29.20, uh, do you see a man who is hasty in his words? Uh, there is more hope for a fool than for him. Uh, a lot of people on social media just want to uh, tell people what they think and what their opinion is, and, and they lack understanding. Proverbs 21, 23, and 24. Whoever guards his mouth and his tongue keeps himself out of trouble. Amen. An arrogant, conceited person is called a mocker. His arrogance has no limits. Yes, there are people who just um, spout off uh, 
think that uh, uh, the internet is their opportunity uh, to share their open opinion and they really don't think about what they're saying or the impact of what is being stated. Uh, Proverbs uh, 26, 20, and 22. For lack of wood, the fire goes out, and where there is no whisperer, contention quiets down. Like charcoal to hot embers and wood to fire, so is a contentious man or person to kindle strife. The words of a whisperer are like dainty morsels, and they go down into the innermost parts of the body. Yes, many people on social media, um, you know, are really gossiping and uh, passing on information. They're not part of, uh, of a solution. They just want to know the inside story. And, and just like in politics, when they really want a story to spread, they don't announce it, they leak it because people like to pass on dainty morsels. And these, it says, go down into the innermost parts of the body. And we need to be careful of what gets inside of us. Uh, Psalms 19:14. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Uh, that is what we need to seek to do with our communication. Ephesians 5, 15 through 17, therefore be careful how you walk, not as unwise men, but as wise, making the most of your time because the days are evil. So then do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Yes, we need to think about uh, how we're communicating, how we're living, and uh, make sure that it is all according to the will of God. Is, is God wanting me to spend uh, this time and this uh, communication? 1 Corinthians 10, 23, all things are lawful, but not all things are helpful. All things are lawful, but not all things build up. So often we ask ourselves the question, well, what's wrong with this? No, you have to ask yourself the question, what's right with this? And that is the most important question. 1 Corinthians 10, 31, so whether we eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. And so even social media, uh, maybe particularly social media because it's so prevalent and powerful, is something that we always need to say, am I glorifying God in this communication and with this time? First Timothy 5.13, at the same time, they also learn, and the they there is talking about young widows and uh, their life uh, after losing their husband. Uh, but it, uh, it applies to all of us in principle. At the same time, they also learn to be idle as they go around from house to house and not merely idle, but also gossips and busybodies talking about things not proper to mention. Uh, the principle here is we don't go house to house, but we go site to site and we put things on there for everybody to see. And then we spend time going through everybody's Facebook page or whatever, and then uh, Facebook contacts us. I, I don't really know the whole system, but I know it is busy, busy, busy. And we need to be careful that we're not being idle, busybodies, or gossips, and wasting our time. First Thessalonians 4, 11 and 12, and to make it your ambition to lead a quiet life and attend to your own business. Uh, are you getting into other people's business? Are you just looking for those tiny morsels to go down? Instead, we're to work with our hands. We're to be busy and purpose purposeful, just as we commanded you so that you will behave properly towards outsiders and not be in any need. Uh, social media can be uh, a a gossipy, busy-bodied intrusion uh, into the lives of other people. And you might say, well, you know, they posted it there. Yes, but what? why were they posting it? And, and what does that mean to you or impact 
uh, does it have on you? Uh, Colossians chapter 4 and verse 5 says, Walk in wisdom toward outsiders, making the best use of the time. Uh, are we using our time wisely? If the average person spends, you know, two and a half hours, uh, you know, what else could be done with that time? I know that good things can be done, but we have to ask ourselves, are we really doing good things or just looking for those tiny morsels? Ephesians 4, 29, 4, 20, uh, 4 and verse 29, let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths, but only such as is good for the building up as fits the occasion, that it may give grace to those who hear. Well, this is one of the positive things we can do, is to give people grace, uh, but to make sure that we're not corrupt talk, passing on misinformation. Philippians 2, 3, do nothing from rivalry or conceit. That's that pride or self-promotion, but in humility count others more significant or important than yourselves. Philippians 4, 8, finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, then think about these things. So if we're going to spend our time on social media, are we spending it wisely? What other things could we do? Uh, but if we are, are we following these principles and these standards, honorable, just, pure, lovely, commendable, excellence, worthy of praise? Finally, 2 Timothy 2.16. Paul wrote to Timothy. Now, these were philosophical controversies and other things. But he says to Timothy, avoid irreverent babble. Just talking, talking, talking. For it will lead people into more and more ungodliness. So, social media. It's here. It's everywhere. It's here to stay. But uh, we as believers in Jesus Christ, we need to have some principles, and I hope that these principles will help you, a biblical evaluation of social medias, and guide you in your usage.